Welcome to the NADFL channel. Properly gauging the value of linebackers in today's NFL is no easy task. So much of the game is played in open formations that require the best 11 athletes on a defense to take the field, yet teams will find ways to run the football in such instances in which the defense has obliged and provided a light box count. This was an issue the Dolphins struggled with at times in 2020, at times even struggling to consistently stop the run regardless of how many defenders they put in the box. One such solution? Better run stuffers on defense. But Miami's valuation of two down thumping linebackers was made pretty clear when the team shuttled away fourth-year linebacker Raekwon McMillan at the beginning of the season. And as Miami went on to secure their 10th win of the 2020 season against the Las Vegas Raiders in Week 16, it was once again clear why Miami didn't covet his services. Veteran QB Ryan Fitzpatrick picked on McMillan a number of times over the middle and eventually helped engineer a come-from-behind victory. But if the Dolphins are ready to upgrade the second level, they'll have two options to do so. Attack the position by targeting a blue-chip player who can play both the pass and the run or, alternatively, to commit to a committee approach, which they did in 2020 with mixed results. Alandon Roberts was the thumper in the middle, whereas Camus Grugier-Hill was oftentimes called upon to defend the pass. A new report from Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald indicates that Miami may be interested in a committee approach once again, with a reported interest in one of the most physical inside linebackers in this year's free agency class, former Chargers and Miami Hurricanes linebacker Denzel Perryman. According to a source, the Dolphins have at least some interest in Perryman, but it's unclear how much. The interest in Perryman may, as will be the case with nearly all free agents the Dolphins pursue, be rooted in how much the price point will cost. The Dolphins paid Roberts and Grugier Hill a combined $5 million for the 2020 season, could they get Perryman for something similar? The annual average salary on Perryman's latest deal was $5.55 million per season, so it shouldn't be considered out of the question. And if the Dolphins could pair him with a middle-round linebacker with some appeal in coverage, such as Ohio State Baron Browning or LSU's Jabril Cox, then the Dolphins could have approximately the same price commitment and have better players in both roles.